Welcome back, Royal Family, to Queen Ashley Vlog, and I am back with another vlog. So today, you guys, we are at my doctor's appointment, and I brought Papa with me today. Ari, get out the way, baby. I brought Papa with me today. So, um, yeah, I'm about to go meet up with the doctor. I am super, super thirsty. Um, you guys, if you guys don't know, I had, like, major contractions um, yesterday when I went to the store. Uh, yeah, I was just having major contractions. I had a little dizzy spell. I started having diarrhea, you know, TMI. But, um, yeah. And that's something about this floor. Every time I come up here, I get dizzy. I think it's because of the third floor. It's something about it. But, uh, yeah, we're headed to the doctor's appointment. They go, nah, nah. They go, papa. Say hi, Ari. Hi. That's like, uh, what's it, Sonic? Oh, the game, you know how they be doing this and stuff. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, we're about to go up in here, you guys. So I'll vlog a little bit when I get in the room, okay? So you guys, I'm in a top and bottom because I wore a, rump, a romper today. So I'm naked. I'm naked, but they're about to cut me in. There they go right there. Oh my goodness, it's getting so real. I can't believe I'm at the end of this pregnancy. All right, come in, y'all. Papa. No, I ain't you recording. I'm recording right now. Nope. Nah. You gotta tell them how excited you are about your sister. I'm not about to play games with you. Nothing. Irie, tell them how excited you are about your sister. Good. What is good? Good is good. Are you excited? Yes. Yes, what are you excited most about? Is it number one having a sibling? You number one, why are you dressed up with a, with a napkin? He said, why am I dressed up like a napkin? <laughs> are you excited to have a sibling? Mm -hmm. Like a brother or sister? Mm -hmm. Right? Because what are you having? A little what? Sister. sister. How many times you said that? Stop being smart. What else are you excited about? Huh? Oh, he's too cool for school. I'm talking to you. Look at me in my face when I'm talking to you. I don't know. What are you excited about about having a, a sibling? What do you what can you do with that sibling? Go to the to park to the, with her. Can you can talk to her. Can't You're not gonna be alone in the house no more as a kid. Can't talk. She will be able to talk though. Just give her a couple of years, she'll be talking to you. Right? She's not going to be able to talk right away. But she'll start laughing at you and stuff within the next four or five months. She'll know who you are. What? Next four or five months, she'll start noticing your voice and who you are. Okay? He's so crusty. Well, alright, y'all. I think he cool. I think he cool. Nana, how do you feel about having another great-granddaughter? Oh, I'm excited. Excited. I'm blessed. Blessed to be I able to see it, huh? Amen. Yes. And I'm going to spoil the rock. Oh, Jesus. And I'm he says spoil what? I spoil, I, I spoil um, Papa Rodney. You get spoiled Rodney, Papa? Oh, yes. Huh? So, I thank God for all of my great grands. This is number, <laughs> three, number four. Number four, yes. Hey you guys, I am laying down with this monitor on me. She just kicked. They're monitoring her heartbeat. It sounds kind of further away, but it's getting stronger because I think she's finding it. It hurts so bad just to lay back on your back. Like I need so much help. And she's so big now. So yeah, y'all. This is what we're here to do. And then they're gonna tell me how much I'm dilated today. I'm afraid I'm dilated some, right? Uh-huh. We'll see. So you guys. I have a mess with y'all lay down here. I don't know. Got this cold gel all over me. I'm freezing cold. Out here a heartbeat. Your nose, he always hits the nose. 
Alright. Why you always in your house? Why are you so nasty? Huh? You don't know what nasty me? You don't know what booger pick me? Papa. 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 Hey. 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 So you guys, I'm leaving. Waiting for Nana. Me and Papa is up at the front. So, um, they did check me and I am not dilated at all. Um, the baby looks good. What else? They had to run like this swab in my JJ and my butt <laughs> um, for a certain bacteria that they have to do for every pregnant woman. Um, if you're infected with something, they have to give you medication before you give birth to the baby. Um, they told me the hospitals that I'm supposed to give birth at in case I go into labor. Um, yeah, so it's a lot of stuff that's going on. Pretty much I'm just at the end. I just have to take like a test or two and then that's pretty much it. And then whatever happens, happens. So, yeah. It's raining outside, if y'all can see. It's raining here where we are. Papa. All right, it's time for us to go. I'll talk to y'all when I get back to the house. All right, downstairs, downstairs. So you guys, I am home. I've been home for hours now. Um, I just got done washing my face and I still feel like I have dark makeup underneath my eye. Like it's not, it's just not trying to wash all the way. But anyway, yeah. Have some pretzels, y'all. Go, go get these at um, Dollar Tree. They're real good. They're Pins, Penny Stick brand. Really good. And I have me a water here. But I really have a taste for some chicken noodle soup. Um, but yeah. Y'all see my little stand over there. All oh, my stuff. Oh, my little pregnant self. Just got done editing what's in my hospital bag. So y'all go check that out if y'all haven't done so. Also, you guys, I've stated this before. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you guys are liking. Thumbs up. Um, I really don't want a dislike, so I ain't gonna lie. But even if it's a dislike, you know what I mean? You don't have to agree with everything I say, but I hope you ain't that type of person to where you just like disliking shit, right? Um, and comment down below. Like, I want to communicate with you guys. Um, this is something I've been wanting to do for a very long time, you guys. I've always wanted my own vlogging channel, and I finally have it. Um, and so, you know, I'm trying to communicate with you guys. Um, and then also tell everybody y'all know, share my channel, talk to people about my channel, you know. Um, I'm a single mother of two, you guys. I know you guys have seen um, my ex-boyfriend, DeAndre, on my channel. I just recently had a vlog last week with him here. Um, but you guys, me and Dre is just no longer together. It is just not working out. And I'm just going to put it like, leave it there. Like, it is just not working out. The things that I've asked to be changed is not changing. And I just feel that he just doesn't care. Um, and I just feel like, honestly, um, even though I may not, you know, want to just leave the relationship and be like, deuces, I'm out. But I honestly, I have to be like, deuces, I'm out. Because it's been over a year and I'm still talking about the same shish that we talked about when we first got together. We're about to have a daughter together. And it's just like, honestly, if I really broke things down to you guys, um, you guys would be like, oh, what? Y'all, like, it's that bad. So, um... All I'm going to say is that, you know, I'm like, didn't I close Ari door? But all I'm going to say is that, yeah, you know, me and him is no longer together. Um, we weren't together really on that vlog. We were just trying to figure things out, you know, kind of, you know, making up a little bit. But we, we didn't, we didn't um, discuss being in a relationship. We were just discussing, you know, trying to make things work out for the best meaning. We're going to try our best. And it's just haven't changed. I mean, even when he was over here just spending the night, like, you could just see so much of, like, the BS. Like, he's not about to change. And if he is going to change, he's not going to change for me. Um, I don't mind being vulnerable 
<laughs> I believe that's how you say vulnerable I don't mind being that I'm a grown ass woman and I feel like I know what I want and I know how I feel but at the end of the day I'm also grown enough to understand that everybody may not be on the same page as you and a lot of people always say yes 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 a master yes yes you know I'll do this yes you know just because they want to have the idea of a relationship the work that you have to put into a relationship um it's not easy relationships is hard work it is a job um but it's a job that should come naturally um and so i just feel like he doesn't want to put the work in to be in a relationship i feel like he's still stuck in his own little world <laughs> Um, even though DeAndre is two years older than me, I feel that I'm way older than him because I feel that I grew up faster, you know, when I got pregnant with Papa at 19, um, and I'm 26 now. So I just feel like I'm not 26. I feel like I'm more like, hmm, probably 36. I feel way more mature and then now I'm having a second child and it's just like, you know, I'm just on another level. I'm on another level of maturity, you guys. Um, and I'm just kind of like sick and tired of like having the same conversations. Like I'm a person where, um, I'm a person where I'm willing to try to make things work, but honestly, I'm not going to sit here for two to 10 years talking about the same shit that we, we have been talking about. Like if you, if it ain't clicked in your head by now, okay. And the second time and the third time and the fourth time and the fifth time and the sixth time and the hundredth time, then at the end of the day, we just going to have to split it. And it's like, I say it sometimes like, oh, well, whatever. Whoop, 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 whoop. At the end of the day, y'all don't really think that I wanted the situation to work out. I'm pregnant. I am nine months pregnant and I'm here alone. Okay. Now I'm not going to sit here and say he doesn't call my phone. He calls me a trillion times a day, but I have not answered one of his, one of his calls because I feel like it's just going to be a pattern, another toxic pattern that I'm just not willing to go through with anymore. And I feel like once I start to see, and I already made, I made that promise to myself. Once I start to see a relationship becoming toxic and um, repetitive as far as the behavior, then I'm going to be woman enough and mature enough to leave that relationship before it gets worse. Because I don't know, I don't know about him, but I have a lot to lose. And I have my children and I'm not willing to lose my children. I'm not willing to lose my peace, my sanity, um, my relationship with God. Okay. Because literally sometimes I be needing Jesus, honey. Like I'll be ready to bust him upside his head. Um, and honestly, and that's just because he just tests me a lot. DeAndre tests me a lot. Um, but I honestly feel like if it's getting to that point, you just don't need to be with them. So it's, I feel like it's getting to that point to where we just are not meeting eye to eye. We're arguing way more than we normally do. And now it's becoming more like of a, a push and shove situation. And I just honestly, it's not even that, that deep to me. If it's going to be like this, then I don't even want to be a part of it. I feel like when you are in relationships, you are signing up to be in that relationship you are making a commitment but at the end of the day if it takes all of that if this is what comes with it i just don't want it i don't want drama in my life i don't want heartache pain um i don't want to be with somebody that's confused i don't want to be with someone who isn't on the same level as me. I feel like we're so divided and I feel like a house that's divided, like God said, you know, we'll never stand. And I can't do it alone, you guys. Like I literally cannot do it alone. And I know if you guys will look at my cell phone, y'all be like, man, 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 you know, this man is blowing you up. But let me tell y'all, like before I thought that was cute. Like, oh my God, he said he blowing my phone up. He texting me a thousand times, but that doesn't mean anything if you're not really changing. Do you understand what I'm saying to y'all? So women, women who are in love and or in a serious situation and this man blowing your phone up, you know, like I know if I'll call him right now, come here. He's going to come here, honey. He's going to give me the D. He's going to buy me some clothes and go take me out to eat. But it's like, I'm just coming into being a full grown woman and that, that stuff right there just doesn't amuse me anymore because then the next day, the day after tomorrow, you're going to be back doing the same shit. So it's just like, I don't want it.
You can keep it, you can have it. Give it to somebody else that just wants that little bit. Like, I want more. I want more. I want more and I deserve more. And I am learning my worth as I grow as a woman. The things that I was tolerating back then, I just am not willing to tolerate now. And um, I cried the other day when he was here. I literally cried because it's like, man, it's effed up that, you know, a lot of relationships have to go down the drain. But everybody is just not for you. And everybody does not grow like you. And everybody not want, does not want what you want, even though in the beginning they said they wanted everything you wanted. So with that said... So with that said, you know, it's like, I just have to do what's best for me and my children. So you guys, I'm a single parent of two. And I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that because at the end of the day, I have my sanity. And I don't want to be in a relationship that is a lie. I don't want to be in a relationship that is toxic. I don't want to be in a relationship that is at a standstill and it will never grow. Because one person want to do this thing and the next person want to do that thing. I just don't want to be a part of it. I signed up for what we spoke about when we first got together. But the bullshit I've been dealing with... I didn't sign up for this and I don't care what he's talking about you know people may say oh you don't love me for you know you right you're right <laughs> I don't love you enough to put up with this type of shit so I am stepping back a hundred percent I am cringing not to answer that phone because I have to break bad habits it's not going to get better. You answering the call and letting him come back in. What is that changing? I've already done it two times before, okay? Because I kicked him out three times three times before. Um, and I just feel like three strikes is out. Like, it's over with. Like, you know? And honestly, I would have given him many more chances. But if I really thought he was trying, and I know in my heart, like, he's really not trying. He really doesn't care. He's really for himself. And he's really all about himself and I'm in this relationship and I feel like I'm alone and I know like in my heart you know you're in a relationship most of the time before you leave you had already knew like you know what I'm not gonna be with this person for long I don't want to make this situation a toxic relationship I feel like he's a good person at the end of the day and I don't want to ever hurt him I don't want him to ever hurt me because I feel like I'm a good person and I feel like when you're in toxic relationships you become people that you're fucking even not like you guys over here acting like wow banshees and, and crazy people trying to hurt each other when we're not even like that you know what I mean it wasn't like that in the beginning so I don't want it to be like that now so I'm just gonna be the bigger person and I'm just gonna stay away because everybody I've been with, they will still be right here next to me. Right here next to me. If I wasn't the bigger person that says, you know what? This is becoming toxic and somebody has to be big enough to step away and say, you know, this is not working. It's not working out. And I have prayed for our relationship. But at the same time, you know, God does what he can. God can turn anything around. But that person also has to make a decision to want to change, you know? Like, God is at the door, but that person has to be willing to open the door and let him in. You know, God is the person who always is giving us choices, you know? And in life, we pick and choose what, we, what we're what we willing to do and the decisions we make. And I'm just picking and choose. I feel like if I get into a situation, I can never just sit here and blame my partner 100% like, man... I ended up in jail because of him. Or I ended up losing my kids because of him. Or I ended up, you know, whatever because of him. Like, you got to at least have, hold some type of accountability and know that you still had a decision if you want to leave or not. And um, you did and you decided to stay. So, I'm just trying to be a bigger person and stop trying to blame him for everything. Yes, of course, he did what he did. Of course. But I also have a choice if I want to stay or not. And I'm choosing not to stay. Um, when you guys seen that last vlog, I was I was on the borderline of like, listen, I'm over it. I'm done with it. You know, and he's just like, listen, just give me one more chance, one more chance. I gave him one more chance. It wasn't even three days in. He was back doing the same shit. So for me, I just feel like I just really need to fall back. Like, I just don't want to be in an unhealthy situation, you know, period period but um as y'all can see it's like late as heck okay i'm about to take my little butt to bed i'm tired i just got done wiping out that makeup off my face um but yeah y'all my little nappy hair it's so nappy it's so nappy but i'll talk to y'all later i love y'all you know, this is the people that I see is subscribe. I know it's people that low key be watching, um, but I just love the support. Okay, I don't know you to love you, but I love that you're supporting me and that you see, you know, 
you can relate to me on some which way um but the people that are supporting please support as far as share my um channel as well on your facebook you know youtube whatever you do any social media share instagram snapchat share this channel um i really do appreciate it and uh yeah Y'all, it's really windy outside. That's why I keep looking around everywhere because it's kind of creeping me out. It's really, really windy. And I just put Papa in his bed. Then I was looking at the crack of my door. Let me show y'all. I was looking at the little crack of my door and my cat was like walking past slow. So, yeah, um, kind of creeping me out. But anyhow, if you guys are watching and have not yet subscribed, go ahead down below and subscribe to this channel. Make sure you hit the bell to be notified for any future vlogs or videos, you guys. And, um, yeah, also share my channel name, everything, you guys, um, so others can know about me as well. Don't hold the secret. Um, if you like me and you think I'm a cool person, go ahead and share to your family members and so on and so forth. Um, or co-workers however you guys whoever you guys are around to talk to or communicate with but um yeah everybody who's been here supporting and continue to support i love y'all so much i'll talk to y'all later i'm so tired you guys so night bye